Good evening, YouTube. How's everyone doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this is uh, Monday the 24th, I believe. Um, I've had a rough week. <laughs> I tell you what, Friday we was in Dumaguete. I went down there checking on my 13A and all that and uh, found out they hadn't sent it to Manila yet, so we got a rush on it. Uh, sent it, got it to Manila. We talked to the officer down in Dumaguete. Uh, the lady behind the desk told me I was going to have to pay 25,000 pesos to overstay. And I said, oh my God, that's, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I better go find out how much the ticket is. I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, pay a ticket, hire lawyers and all this other stuff. I'm not sure how much that was going to cost me, but it wasn't a good thing. So anyway, the guy said, it looks like it's approved. Uh, we got to go back down on the 28th once again and try to figure out what is going on with it. But in the meantime, like I said, I was up on a ladder working, uh, putting up some of my electrical components on the wall, uh, insulator. I was chipping out the wall and I was going to put a little T with a, uh, uh, threads on it where I could <clears throat> thread it the insulator to my wall needless to say my ladder broke uh it was a good one too I, it was one from uh, where, where i buy it city hardware i believe it's fiberglass and aluminum runs uh i was what was it third from the top my third step broke and it was like a domino effect all the way down it just broke all the way the last two steps i was already sideways by the last two runs, I hit sideways on my hip. I skinned my forehead pretty good. I mean, I had a giant, giant knot on my head for a couple of days. Um, I got skinned up my nose, my arms, my legs, my hip. Felt like it's been broken. <laughs> I, I tell you what. Then the day before yesterday, I was walking in the yard. I found a nail with my flip flops. Um, I mean, I drove that sucker home. It was all the way buried. So I figured I'd not go get me a pair of vice grips and just yank it out. Oh my God, that thing, it looked like a Z. The nail, it was big, uh, it <laughs> had the letter Z in it. And uh, when I yanked it, all oh, that thing hurt like hell. I couldn't believe how bad that hurt. I about blacked out from the pain about got sick um, I had to work it back and forth to get it out once it was out today uh, yesterday I was okay today I am hobbling I mean I can't even hardly walk that foot is so painful I mean my knee hurts everything hurts pretty bad but that thing hurts really bad okay guys I want to give you an update Lala bird tide Negros Oriental is totally locked down um, home quarantine from what I understand I mean I, I haven't been out anywhere but I'm hearing from what I see uh, or talk to the people and they said it is totally locked down you could pass through there on a vehicle but you can't stop so it's not a not a very good thing right now it's getting worse by the day uh, the coronavirus is coming back in a big way uh, Himalato I heard there's a lot of cases here Tyson, they have a lot of cases down there. Uh, we still have, let me see, probably nine people still living on our property. And I'm not wearing my mask right now, just blogging. They're, they're, out, they're away from me a little ways. But yeah, I'm, I'm out trying to take care of everything. I've walked down there, so I figured I'd make a quick blog real quick since I hadn't made one in several days. But anyway, guys, yeah, we are back in the coronavirus thing. Uh, we will have this, I don't know what, I don't know which one it is, if it's the Delta or the Omicron or whatever it is. We are back, back in it. And I don't know when it's going to end or it's not looking good right now. It's not looking good at all. But... Yeah, it's, it's very bad. I tell you what, I've never, I've never had anything like that. Had a nail in that shape 
I mean, it was the rustiest nail you ever, ever seen. It was horrible looking. Thank goodness I had a tetanus shot six weeks ago from another nail that I got in my foot. <coughs> oh, yeah, here pretty quick. Everybody's going to be leaving here. And I'll be able to start building my building back there in my uh, carport area. I'm going to start getting that all built. We need a place. I mean, we. I give all the old roofing away. There's a lot of people who wanted some roofing for their whatever they had. I told them they could have whatever. I, I wasn't going to use it. I mean, it was bad shape. <laughs> but they was more than happy to get it. They was more than happy to get it. But anyway, guys, yeah, it's, it's been a it's been a rough week for me. Very, very rough. Let me see if I can get inside here without breaking my neck. Oh, dark. It is dark in here. Oh, I gotta sit down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very painful, guys. Very, very painful. But anyway, I wanna thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. We cannot do it without your assistance. Now, we're gonna be back in Dumaguete again this coming Friday on the 28th. Um, we have to make sure everything is going correctly. I don't want to be caught in the dark and find out, oh, you got to leave anyway. So we're on top of it. We're going to make sure everything is done. Uh, hope it, they said it's already processed. It's already approved, but we, they had, they hadn't sent me a notice yet. And needless to say, I don't have internet here don't have electric here we don't have running water as of yet we're still in the stone age here <laughs> it's not good i'm hoping this will change here in the very near future um, i'm trying to get everything taken care of we got to get a new pole up for the electric this whole incident with uh um ladder breaking and, and me stepping on the nail has uh slowed me down tremendously um we're gonna go ahead and upload this video tonight uh is monday night here in the philippines i'm gonna go ahead and upload this video tonight uh we gotta go to tyson is where we have to go um uh, lala Berti, we can't go over there because of the home quarantine lockdown i mean it's um they are Locking people up if you're not abiding by the rules. They have curfew for people that are traveling to and from there. So uh, you can't travel into the Laboberta from what I understand. Now, um, Dumaguete is still has lots of positive cases. Uh, Taliesin, positive cases. Uh, Ireland, I heard they had lots of positive cases. Uh, God, I sure hope that this is over soon. I'm, I mean, we, we are getting tired wearing face masks, and I bet we wind up going back to the face shields again in banks and uh, supermarkets and uh, uh, the malls, everything. I'm sure we're going to be going back to all the face shields, which <laughs> I hate that face shield. I hate the face mask, to tell you the truth. I'll be glad when this is all over. But anyway, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. Um, we are slowly working on the property. We were, we're trying our best to get this stuff taken care of. We still have a lot of trees that hasn't been cut yet. That needs to be all cut up into pieces. Uh, we're waiting for the guy to come over and cut it all up. But anyway, we will definitely catch you guys on the very next video. Peace out.